Just when you thought you knew everything about functions, you're asked to express them graphically. Don't these test writers have anything better to do? Not really because it's their job, but it's my job to help you ace this test. In this video, we'll cover the ins and outs of solving SAT questions with functions expressed graphically, and put those test writers in their place. When it comes to functions expressed as graphs, f of x is still the value of y, and the value inside the parentheses is still the value of x. For example, if we were given the expression f of 2 equals 3, the 2 would be the x value, and the 3 would be the y value. And f of 2 equals 3 is another way of expressing the coordinate 2, 3. With that in mind, let's solve an SAT problem that asks about functions in graphic form. Given the graph of a function f in the following figure, what is the value of f of 1 plus f of 3? First, let's underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices, which are possible values of f of 1 plus f of 3. We need to answer what is the value of y when x is 1, and what is the value of y when x is 3. Then we'll need to add them together. Let's start by finding the value of f of 1. Notice the shaded and unshaded circles on the graph of f of x when x equals 1. An open circle indicates that the point isn't part of the function, so we'll ignore the unshaded circle and look at the shaded circle. When x equals 1, y equals 2, so now we know that f of 1 equals 2. Now let's find the value of y when x equals 3. Notice the unshaded and shaded circles at x equals 3. Again, we'll ignore the unshaded circle and only look at the shaded circle. When x equals 3, we see that y equals 4, so f of 3 equals 4. Adding these values together, f of 1 plus f of 3 becomes 2 plus 4, which equals 6. And this is answer choice D, so go ahead and circle it. Okay, that was quite a few steps, but we were able to solve the problem easily. Well done. So we know that we can find the value of y from the function of x, as well as the value of x when y equals a specific value. This works the same way when it comes to functions expressed graphically. Let's check out an SAT problem together. The graph of y equals g of x is shown above. If g of 4 equals k, which of the following could be the value of g of k? Let's go ahead and underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices, which represent potential values of g of k. We know that g of k is the y value when x equals k. But what is k? The problem tells us that k is the value of y when x equals 4. When x equals 4, we see that y equals 2. Since g of 4 is 2, that means that k equals 2. So we've been able to pull out a lot of information, but we aren't done yet. Let's reread the question to make sure we're solving for what it asks. By rereading the question, we see that it asks which of the following could be the value of g of k. It doesn't just ask what is k. So if k equals 2, then the question is really asking which of the following could be the value of g of 2. And looking at the graph, we see that the y value when x equals 2 is 1. So now we see that g of k is 1, which means that answer choice A is correct. How was that? Not too bad, right? But if something went over your head, feel free to go back and rewatch any part of this video that you didn't get. Sometimes just diving into practice can really help your knowledge and confidence. Lucky for you, we have tons of function practice problems available for you throughout this course.